Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Before we get started today, we'd appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and by dropping a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to reach out to us directly, send us an email at frontlinerejects at gmail.com. The bullet we're testing today is Nosler's 165 grain Acubond. This is the third time we featured it here on the channel. We will be featuring it twice more as part of our five cartridge review on it. Now, of course, this is a bonded core bullet, and we've got it loaded up in 308, through which we'll be testing it from 100 to 500 yards. We've had very good performance from the Acubond in the past, and we're very excited to see how it's going to perform today. We hope you are as well. So let's get started. Okay. Stand by. Okay. Hundred yards, three oh eight. How's the Acubomb? All right, buddy. Third time with the Acubombs. Yeah. Get some. I'll uh, I'll get it. All right, man, bringing it home for Nosler. Nosler. Spotter's on. Ooh, good hit. Yeah, that's all I ever do. All right. Safety. Rookie mistake. Yeah. Nosler. That was a good hit, dude. All right, man, out the big four hundo. Hell yeah. I feel like I'm working on my tan today. Yeah, dude, this sun's nice. Feeling blessed. Excellent. Fantastic shot. Excellence is my craft. All right, man, spotter's on. All right. Bring us home. Let me see what I can do. Don't miss. I'll try not to. You gonna miss? Yeet! Oh, I keep doing that. Probably so gonna miss. This is our third test with the Nosler Acubon, but it's the first test where we start out with a relatively moderate muzzle velocity. Our last two tests were in 270 wind short mag and 300 wind mag, both of which I would recommend you check out, and links to which will be provided in the video description. In those cartridges, our projectiles are traveling well above 3,000 feet per second at the muzzle. In the humble 308, we started with 2811 feet per second and dropped down at 500 yards to an estimated 1971 feet per second. Of course, today's estimated impact velocities were calculated using JBM ballistics software. At the 100 mark, we have perfect expansion. The bullet peeled back on all sides, almost in line with the base of the bullet. At 200, it's similar, although even at this relatively close range, we can see expansion ending higher up the shank. 300 is pretty similar to the 200 in that it has clean and even expansion, which ends about halfway down the length of the projectile. 400 showcases a nice, even, pancaked profile with one break in the edge, but like all ranges fired, still extremely wide. At 500 yards, our last range, there's a few more tears in the jacket as it peels, but still a great result as we drop below 2,000 feet per second. Getting into our graphs, expansion ranges from a low of 1.89 at the 100 to a high of 2.1 at the 200. It roller coasters a bit at the other ranges, but never drops below what I would consider to be more than acceptable. This ends up giving us average expansion of 1.99, or realistically twice its original diameter, which in my perspective is a fantastic result result, especially considering the more modest velocities we got in 308. Weight retention is much more consistent. We start out retaining 77% of our weight at 100 yards and step up evenly at each range fired exactly how we'd expect to. Overall, we get average weight retention of 85.33%, which is fantastic for a lead core bullet. Of course, a huge component to that high weight retention is the fact that the AccuBond is, as its name suggests, a bonded core bullet in which the lead core is fused or welded 
to the copper jacket. This allows for fantastic weight retention as the core and jacket do not become separated, which we witnessed in the impact images at all ranges fired. As I mentioned earlier, this is the third time we've tested the Acubon, and the first time we've tested it in a non-Magnum cartridge. We were really looking forward to see how the Acubon would do with moderate impact velocities, and it did not disappoint. Average expansion of two times original size and weight retention of 85% is fantastic, and I would be happy to hunt with this bullet any day of the week. One factor that I think helps bonded core bullets open up so wide is the lead used in the core. Generally speaking, to be able to successfully weld the core to the jacket, manufacturers have to use pure lead rather than, say, lead which has been hardened with tin or antimony. This means the lead core is softer on a bonded bullet than on a standard cup and core like a ballistic tip, ELDX, or Game King. With the core being softer, it's easy for it to open up at lower velocities, which is great if your goal is to dump energy into your target, but may not be as desirable if your goal is to punch a deep wound channel into thick game. Now, penetration wouldn't be as much of a concern at closer ranges with higher velocity or in more powerful Magnum cartridges, but what we noticed at 200 and further was that the bullet tended to end up in around the third row of jugs, which means it achieved a little less than 15 inches of penetration. With that rapid deceleration, the Acubon would do a great job of delivering hydrostatic shock on deer and antelope, and in 308, I think it's perfectly acceptable for use on elk and bear. I don't know if it'd be my first choice in this chambering for larger game like moose, however. We've now ran the Acubon through 230 cals in our 270 Wisdom. We'll next be testing it in 6.5 and 6 mil. Both of those are tests that I'm really looking forward to, and we hope you are as well. To make sure you don't miss out on those and more, make sure you're subscribed, and if you got something out of today's content, consider helping us out with a like and a comment to pump up the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.